Hello, my name is Marcello, and all of us from TSAV would like to welcome you to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Welcome back to those joining us again, and thank you so much for your continued support. On this channel, we will discuss home audio and video, personal audio, home theater, home automation, and speak with some of the movers and shakers in the music and hi-fi industry. So please consider subscribing today and ring that bell icon to get notified of future live streams and videos. Today we will be discussing one of the many fantastic audio brands we carry at TSAV, Claris's audiophile collection of speaker cables, interconnects, and power conditioners. Designed and engineered by celebrated cable designer Jay Victor, the entire line of Claris cables incorporates several proprietary and patent pending technologies using only the finest metallurgy and materials. All cables are handmade and individually insulated in multiple gauges. According to Claris, they utilize the world's purest oxygen-free copper by Ono Continuous Casting. This copper has low electrical resistance with impurity-free construction, ensuring the cables in a passionate audio connoisseur system are never the weak point. Claris's cable designs incorporate three distinctively different conductor types, which are individually insulated, solid heavy gauge conductors, flat conductors, and spiral ribbon conductors with a non-conductive core. One of the secret sauces to the design of Claris cables is the size of each conductor and its physical relationship to the other conductors, which according to Claris dramatically improves the clarity, transparency, and soundstage performance. The flagship Claris Crimson line of cables and power cords utilizes a multi-gauge design that uses three different shape conductor types, each individually insulated using precision formulated polyethylene insulation, which provides low loss. Included with all the Crimson Series cables are beautifully CNC machined gold-plated connectors. I utilize several Crimson cables from the heavy, superbly constructed high current power cords, speaker cables, XLR interconnects, and a USB cable in my system at home. To say I was impressed with the build quality and construction of the Crimson line of cables would be an understatement. I utilize a pair of Crimson 10 feet speaker cables connected to the current reference integrated speaker amplifier demo unit I have on loan from our TSAV showroom, the Cord CPM3350, and out to my current reference Sonus Fabra Olympica Nova 5s. I ran a pair of Crimson XLR cables out from my Cord TT2 into the Cord integrated amplifier and utilize a Crimson USB cable to connect my Cord 2YU to go streaming modules into the USB port of my TT2 for streaming Rune. At the time of filming this video, this setup was easily the best I have heard from any integrated solid state stereo amplifier in my room with the Nova 5s. By the way, the cord integrated floor model from our TSEV showroom I currently have in the house is for sale at a considerable discount. I will link to it in the video description below. The weight alone of the power cable is significantly heavier than several headphone amplifiers and DACs I have auditioned over the years. Due to the thickness of the power cables and speaker wires, the Crimson cables at first were quite stiff. However, this reduced some over time as I used them in my system, connecting to different components and moving them around. The Claris Aqua line of cables provides the same unique performance features as the Crimson line of products with slightly smaller wire gauges. This made working with the speaker cables easier for me as they had more bend and flexibility. I usually hide speaker cables and interconnects, wrapping them up and keeping them out of sight. However, the Claris cables are so well made and aesthetically pleasing compared to most cables I've used over the years that I never felt the need to hide them away. Other than the smaller gauge wires, the Aqualine utilizes all the same high quality conductors, individual insulation, CNC machine gold plated connectors, and are also built by hand. I used high current Aqua power cables for my Marantz 40N, the Marantz Model 30 I had on loan from our TSAV showroom, and a pair of 10 foot Aqua speaker cables. I also used a couple of XLR interconnects for my current reference tube amplifier, the ARC i50 integrated, along with a crimson power cable to deliver high current to the high current design of the Audio Research i50. Speaking of power, let's talk a little bit about the power conditioners from Claris. Claris takes a different approach to power conditioning than some other manufacturers. In most audio communities, it is well known that AC power coming into most homes can cause unwanted noise in an audio system. Some companies create power conditioners that aim to clean up this AC noise from polluting our audio systems. Unfortunately, some of those designs choke input current, limiting peak performance for power amps. Claris has determined through extensive listening and testing that some filter designs used for analog conditioning components will help to remove some noise from the AC supply, but also at the same time degrade some of the component signal output. To avoid this, Claris implements three different and unique AC filter ensemble designs for its new line of power conditioners, one for analog components, one for digital components, and one for high current amplifiers. 
The flagship of the power conditioning lineup is the Concerto, using high-performance hospital-grade outlets engineered according to Claris with advanced materials ensures electrical contact reliability over time. Each duplex outlet is isolated to prohibit interaction between adjacent outlets. All of the outlet banks of the Concerto are explicitly labeled with the appropriate component type that will provide the highest level of filtering. The Concerto has two high current outputs with a massive 30 amp Claris core filter to deliver full power without restricting dynamics to high current equipment like power amplifiers, receivers, and powered subwoofers. Also included are two outlets labeled analog and four outlets for digital audio products such as DAC, streamers, and CD players. Claris incorporates other important design elements into the Concerto. Claris C-Core technology is used in all the analog and high current filters, allowing for significantly reduced audible noise when voltage and current are applied to the core. Claris also uses vibration control by using vibration dampening material to prevent low frequency AC signals from passing through the copper windings of an inductive filter, preventing mechanical vibration. Over under voltage protection on the Concerto provides an audible alarm and auto shutdown when voltage drops below 90 VAC or above 135 VAC, protecting the audio components in your system. The alarm does have an on off switch on the back of the Concerto if you wish to turn it off. According to Claris, the Concerto protects from surges of electricity using thermal metal oxide varistors. The Concerto's front panel protection fault LED lights up when the surge suppression circuit is compromised and the unit will shut down for safety. Also, ground and polarity LEDs when lit indicate that the power cord and outlet the Concerto is connected to is in phase and properly grounded. Last but not least, the Concerto includes cable support for Claris's heavy, high current power cords. This feature is more important than you would think, as the cords have so much weight and girth that they can come loose from some components when unsupported. Also in Claris's power conditioner lineup, the Sextet Power Block uses some of the same technology and design features found in the Concerto in a smaller package, including six high-performance hospital-grade outlets, two high-current, two digital, and two analog outlets that include Claris Common Core Mode filters. The top panel of the Sextet displays ground and polarity LEDs to indicate when the power cord and outlet that the Sextet is connected to are in phase and properly grounded. The Sextet also protects from surges using thermal metal oxide varistors. If the surge protection circuit is compromised, the front panel protection fault LED will illuminate and the unit will shut down for safety. Lastly, the smallest power conditioner in the current Claris lineup is the Duet Power Block. The Duet was optimally designed for monoblock amplifiers and powered subwoofers. The Duet again includes the same technology discussed in the Sextet with two high current outlets and a large 30 amp Claris core filter to deliver full power without restricting dynamics to high current equipment. So I know what all of you are thinking at this point of the video. How did the Claris cables and power conditioners improve the sound quality in my listening room? I could share my sound impressions with you and 50% of you would believe me and the other half wouldn't. I know this as I started my high-end audio video journey back in 2000 and have had the great opportunity to help build and discuss hi-fi systems for many years. I will say this, if you have a strong heart to pump the blood for your body, but you have clogged arteries and poor blood flow, your body will not function properly. If you don't have a well-functioning liver and kidneys, your body will suffer. In my opinion, an audio system is no different. Power conditioners that clean the AC power and protect the audio system components are extremely important. The power cords or major arteries that deliver the electricity and current to your components are also critical. Lastly, the interconnects and speaker cables are your audio system's veins and smaller arteries. Nine times out of 10, I recommend building out your system by choosing your speakers, amplification, source components, such as DACs, turntables, or CD players, and installing room treatment first and foremost, as these parts of the audio system, in my opinion, will have the most significant effect on the quality of sound in most cases. Power cords, speaker cables, and component interconnects should not be an afterthought though, especially if your chosen components are of a high current design. In addition, many of the homes I've been in over the years have bad RFI, dirty electricity, and other factors that can contribute to not achieving the best quality of sound. So please, don't take my word for it. Instead, TSAV Jason has given me the green light to allow any of you interested in the Claris Liner products the opportunity to have a 30-day in-home demo to see how the cables and conditioners work in your environment with your components. All you have to do is give Wayne a call or send us a message through our website so we can call to process the order for you. If you decide they are not suitable for you, give us a call to set up a return authorization, pay the return shipping, and if the products are undamaged in like new condition with all the original packaging and accessories, you can receive a full refund minus shipping. 
For those of you that are new to the channel, we have a giveaway we are currently doing for a Macintosh MB20 Bluetooth transceiver, which I will link in the description below. There's still time to sign up for it. All of us from TSAV hope you enjoyed this video discussing Claris speaker cables, interconnects, and power conditioners. If you are in the greater Los Angeles region or just looking to make a trip to see and hear Claris products, our TSAV 10,000 square foot showroom and headphone bar have one of the largest selections of personal audio, two channel stereo, and home cinema products to see and hear in the country. I will link to our website in the description below and more info on the Claris products discussed during this video. Thank you for your continued support to all of you. And for those of you new to the channel, please show your support today by smashing the like button for us and subscribing for more new upcoming content. Until next time, friends, always remember, let the music be your guide.